welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie and I currently live in Sasebo, Japan. I live here because my husband is in the Navy and this is where we're stationed. If you are new here and you enjoy this video, maybe check out some of my other ones. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'm currently going strong with uploading a new video every single week. Today I'm going to show you a tour of my house. I live on base. I live on Hario, which is about 25 minutes away from main base. When my husband and I moved here, we actually did have the choice between living off base and living on base. Depending on when you come, you might not have a choice because of the capacity of the base. So they want to make sure that they have so many houses full at any certain time. When we came, we were lucky enough that we could pick between the two. And while we really wanted to live off base, we have a dog who is considered probably an extra large dog here in Japan and finding a place off base that we really liked was really challenging and we were able to move into our house here on Hario within 10 days of moving to Sasebo. That being said, the house that we are in is a three bedroom. I think they're called garden units. So we do have a backyard and we have the first floor and the second floor. Unfortunately, if you are moving here and you're watching this video, there isn't really much you can do ahead of time. You can fill out some paperwork, which I will link down in the description. It's just on housing's website and that will kind of just make things go a little quicker once you're here since the paperwork is already filled out, but you cannot get on any sort of wait list or anything like that. So let's go downstairs and get started. So the first thing that you see right when you walk into the house is kind of just a long hallway. And then there is a bathroom downstairs on the left here. There is no bidet. We actually bought this bidet at Costco and installed it ourselves if that's something that you are interested in. And then into the living room, we have a nice open space. I know some people like to put their kitchen table in here or have maybe a little office area down here. As you can see, our couch is a little big, so there's definitely plenty of space to play around with. People I have seen arrange their furniture different than this. This is just kind of how we did it because we like to keep the space open so that the dog can run around and enjoy herself. Coming out of the living room, you will kind of connect into the kitchen and the kitchen honestly isn't anything spectacular. There is tons of storage as you can see. So if you're like us and you have way too many kitchen appliances that you only use every once in a while, there's definitely plenty of places to keep them. Everything in here is also American appliances. So that is one nice thing that you don't have to worry about, but just be aware that these kitchens do not come with a microwave. So either bring one from the States, which you can plug in here and it'll work just fine or the next on the main base does have them available for sale. We have a pretty large kitchen table, mostly for playing board games because of my husband. Just right across from this are the washer and the dryer. And as you can tell here, these are also American sized appliances, which honestly is great because if you're washing sheets or anything like that, you really value the American appliances when it comes to that. Then we are going to head upstairs. And as you will see, we've got a dehumidifier upstairs and downstairs. These were issued with the house, which is great. You are definitely going to need to use these. I think I counted during the height of summer last year, I emptied both of these six times a day. Another awesome thing is that each room has its own air conditioning unit. So you can really temperature control where you are the most. Once we go upstairs, there are three bedrooms and two bathrooms. This bedroom is being used as my office right now. So you can probably recognize the little YouTube corner over there. And this is just where I work and get things done. I am not gonna take you into the other guest bedroom because it's exactly the same as this one. And it just has a queen size bed and then some drying racks for our clothes. So nothing exciting in there, but just note that you can definitely fit a queen size bed in these guest bedrooms very comfortably. This is the bathroom for the two bedrooms and that they share. And this has a bathtub going into the main bedroom. We have a queen size bed so you can kind of get an idea of how much space that takes up. I do have neighbors who said they have king beds and they fit just fine in these rooms. And then we go into the bathroom and 
As you can see, not a lot of sink space. This is for me and my husband to share. So we are always just kind of trying to have to fight for that sink real estate space. We have removed a couple of doors in our house just to kind of make things flow a little bit. If there is one complaint I have about the housing here is that there are just so many doors that you don't need. So we have removed the door that connects the shower and toilet to the sink area because honestly, it's pretty small small so if one person is in there the other one just kind of waits until they're done you can see we have a nice walk-in closet our dressers are in here and because we have two empty guest bedrooms we use the closet space in those in order to save room in here I absolutely love this house I think it's super cute and while there are a few things I would change I love having a backyard for Olive so our backyard is really spacious and we have a cherry blossom tree which just finished blossoming so we really enjoy having this space to ourselves and to be able to enjoy during some of those off-season months where it isn't too hot and it isn't too cold if you have any questions about the house that I live in or maybe you want to see some other layouts of houses on Hario or maybe even main base let me know I could maybe reach out to housing and see if I could do a walkthrough of some of the other layouts because I know that it is a really good feeling kind of knowing what you're walking into before going there. That is going to be it from me today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye.